Hi guys and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome my name is Heather and on this channel we like to walk a very fine line between a shopping addicted makeup monster and a responsible adult with a makeup hobby. Now I really enjoy eyeshadow singles, duochromes, multichromes, blush, blush, highlight, lip gloss, basically everything except pressed glitters and today we are going to be diving into the Unearthly's Valentine's Day collection. So there's a palette and three face products. If that sounds like something you're interested in, stick with me. We're getting into it right now. So I picked up the palette and I picked up the three little like blush and highlight um, pieces. The palette was what intrigued me most. Of course, I'm like a huge sucker for these kind of pinky purple palettes. Let me see if I can give you a close up here. Yeah. I'm not a huge fan of these little divots that they do though. I I know why they do it. I just I'm not a fan of it. But like the really smoky purples in here really really called to me. So I think we're going to use that today. And then I'm going to try to play with some of the blushes and the highlighter. And then I did also recently just pick up this what is this? Suki Suki Keiki Sunset Florist highlighter palette that Trend Mood showed. And that was only $9 on Amazon. It looks absurd, but the inside is really pretty. It has like three dimensional flowers in it. And you can see like they actually sit up, which I thought was cool. So pick that up. We'll give it a try. We'll see if it's any good. It's probably not for $10, but we'll give it a try anyway. Let me get some primer on. Um, I'm really excited to play with this palette though. So let me see what I want to do here. I really want to take it very bold and I think I want to do like a halo eye so I think that's what we're gonna do Lord help us because this is either gonna be really good or really not all right I'm gonna go into beloved first which is this pink in the bottom corner here okay Hell's Bells, does everything have to go off at once? Okay, it's not a race. And then the next thing I'm going to do is go in with Flirty, which is like this hot... Don't look at my messy desk. The hot pink up here in the corner. And I'm just buffing that into like the outer third. I'm not taking it any further than that. Kind of like that. Now I want to get into this deep shade down here, so I think, I think I'm going to put Sleepover on either side of my lid, and then I'm going to blend it up with this shade as well, and then I'm either going to use, let's see, I'm either going to use this shade or this top one up here as kind of that like center halo effect. Somebody, somebody to love me like that I just want somebody, somebody to 
said something in so I kind of have what I want here, and then I think I need to go in with one of these two metallics. Oh, definitely this one. Okay, and that's the shade Satin up here in the corner, so that's the one I'm going to go in with. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Okay, let's get some glitter glue. I'm going to use a pretty small brush. This is actually a lip brush from Luxie. Let me just pop a little bit more detail with this sweetheart shade. So the look that I'm got going kind of at this point looks like this and I do think it's really pretty but I think I need to get some foundation on quickly so let me pop off camera I'm gonna put on foundation concealer and bronzer and then I'll be back for blush and highlight so now that I have kind of like my foundation and concealer and everything on let's do the lower lash line I definitely want to keep this pretty tight to the lower lash line but I want to use those brighter the like really pretty sweetheart purpley shade here. I want to use that dark shade there and then top corner. That's really hard to do backwards in a viewfinder. This is mixing a little bit with earlier today's mascara, but that's alright. And then I think I'm going to buff out a little more of Flirty, which was the hot pink shade, into the outer corner here. Yeah, I like the way that's looking. Okay, and then I'm going to take a really, really, really fine, probably liner brush and use this sleepover shade to go right into the lash line. And I'm only taking that on the outer third and the inner third because in the center third on the bottom we're going to go back in with that satin shade which is the metallic that I have on my center of my lid. And let's spray that just to give it a little extra you know. Definitely need an inner corner. I'll probably save that for the highlighters. But let me get on some liner. I think I... Do I want to do lashes? I'll probably do lashes. Who am I kidding? Let me do some liner and lashes and I'll be right back. 
Okay, so I officially have lashes on at this point. Why, I don't know, because it's like 9 o'clock at night and I really don't need it. But I have the three like face products, which I wasn't originally going to pick up. Um, but then I just suckered myself into it. And I was really excited because there's a blush here that pulls a little bit more purple, like cool toned like lavender, then the highlight of course, and then this one that pulls a little bit more pink. So you can see how different they are when you hold them side by side. Um, but I think I'm going to use the more pink one and then I'm going to use the bow and arrow like blush light kind of shade to go over top of that. Let's grab probably something pretty soft and fluffy here. These do not have a mirror. And I'm going to keep the blush pretty high because the lashes are pretty dramatic just to kind of blend everything out and not make this part look too weighted on my face. I think that looks pretty. Now the problem is trying to replicate it on the other side. That's good. I'm gonna put just a little, little dot there. And then I'm just gonna pink up a little bit here too. Normally I would not put blush up here. But I feel like the bronzer that I use is just a little bit too yellow. So I'm gonna tone that down a little bit. Alright, let's go in with the highlighter because that thing looks so pretty. And I love the little like girls they have on these. I know they're like lewd or whatever, but I think they're cute. So this definitely looks like that classic like pink to gold duochrome type of appearance and I am 100% here for it. Where's my highlighter brushes? Wow, that's pretty. Pretty. So I think I'm going to go in with this highlighter palette for my inner corner highlight and I think what I'm actually going to use is the petals out of this center one because I think it would just make such a cute little pop there on the inner corner. Let's see if it's picking up anything. Oh yeah.
Alright, so gave that a try. And then I think the last thing I need to do is just put on a lip product. And I'm going to use this NARS, what is this? The Power Matte Lip Pigment in the shade Wild Night, which is like a purple. Because why not? I don't get to wear any fun lip colors anywhere else because COVID. Okay, and this is the finished look. Let me see if I can zoom you. this palette. I really like the formula, of course. Um, the Alien Cosmetics formula, I think they do a really good job with their mattes and their shimmers. I have a couple other palettes from them. I actually placed an order for yet another palette from them, Hauntingly Glamorous. So I think their formula is really nice. I love the quality of these shimmers. This one, I think because it has such a strong pink base, would not be as good for like a highlighty type shade, um, but would look really pretty all over the lid. And then this one definitely has like a nice like satin sheen but it is deeper so it's again gonna look more smoky you could do a beautiful smoky eye with this palette i really like it the only shade that i think is not terribly unique is the shade in the middle because it's one of those white to very yellow gold duochrome type shades and i think we've seen that a lot in like highlighters i mean even this highlighter palette right here has something pretty similar to it with the yellow in the center here so I'm not sure that that's like an overly unique feature of that palette but I do think it looks nice and complements the rest of the palette. As far as the blushes, I mean I've only used one blush and one highlighter. Highlighter, stunning. I think it gives such a nice soft like, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then I used the Cherub Blush, which I think is very pretty. I'm excited to give this other blush, the Charmed Blush, a try at some point because I think the soft, like, purple lilac of it is going to be a little bit more flattering than the Trixie Cosmetics, what was it, the 80s? I think it's the 80s palette that has the purples in it. That one goes a little bit too bruisey for me. But I do think those are really pretty. This palette, I definitely want to give it some more tries before I make an 100% opinion. I do think it looks really great as an inner corner highlight, um, but it's definitely really, really hard baked. So I wouldn't worry about this getting destroyed in transit, but it's definitely like, it's just tough to pull up a lot of pigment from all at once. So I'm not sure. We'll have to keep playing with this one for sure to decide whether or not she's worth our time. But... I do like this kind of peachy shade down here. That's really pretty. Let me see if I can give you some quick swatches. So you can see the four shades right there. Like they definitely pick up some light. I think they're going to be more subtle, kind of like the Essence um, Pure Nude Highlighter rather than like an Ofra highlight or something that's um, like really, really blinding, like the Super Shock. Um, lunch money or flexitarian something like that I think this is going to be much more subtle but I think I could definitely enjoy that as well with that being said I think that is everything for this video I want to thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe before you go and I'm going to catch you in my next video bye